Hi everyone and welcome to Asta's Place. Today I'm answering a request that I've had from Sharon in the UK and she wanted me to demonstrate a quick and easy version of making a table wreath for a wedding. I hope I've got you covered, Sharon. Right, what I've done here is this is just a polystyrene wreath that I've covered in white ribbon. You, if you're wearing ivory or cream, you could perhaps just incorporate that that coloured ribbon with whatever you're doing. I'm going to use artificial, but you could do the same thing using fresh, but I would use a, an, a wet oasis wreath and I would cover cover the outside with leaves or with the ribbon. I'm going to just pin some of these in very, very quick. And I've actually also put it onto a cake plate because I quite like that elevation that you get with having the footed plate and giving it a little bit more of a dimension. So bring that round to there and then I'll just pin that into there like that. And don't try and play gold with the ivy and try and make it, it sit flat because it probably will just do whatever it wants to do. Right, putting that there. I've also got lovely little bunches of roses. Sharon indicated that she was having roses for her bouquet, in her bouquets, so I've just incorporated some more roses in with it. I really love these little posies. Um, they come with all ready to go, and all you really needed to do for a decent sized posy is put two of these together and bind it with a little bit of ribbon and put a bow on it. There you go, ready to go. These here, and I love these because all you have to do is just like pull them off. Right, using the hot glue gun, put a little bit of glue onto that like so, and then go straight in and then just position it. And I also like to pin as I'm going because that just helps to keep things in place. So because it's round, it's always best to do things as evenly positioned as you can. So if you put one on that side, bring one over to that side. Exactly the same as where I've explained the fundamentals of floristry. Imagine that line is going through there. What you do on one side, you just repeat on the other side. And try if you haven't, if you've only got three roses, three big roses, then to position those with equal distance between each of your placements. So you would bring your next one to there, and then this one would go to there. Okay. A little bit more glue onto there. Oh, I had a very bad situation with the glue gun. For those who have never used a glue gun, be very, very careful because if it's going to burn, it's going to burn and burn and burn. And what I've been telling some of my new students of late is to just have a bowl of ice water so that if you do burn yourself, just put it straight in. The other thing that I have keep omitting to tell you is that there are two types of glue when it comes to the, the glue guns. There is the low melt and there is the high melt. I actually prefer to use the low melt because it doesn't burn as much as the other one does. And if you're using polystyrene, um, if you're using the high melt, what will happen is the glue will just burn right through it. Okay, so I've got a rose there, rose there, rose there, and one there. And I thought I would just like to incorporate another one into there like so and it's great with the pins too use a pin that's about the same color as the roses because when it goes into the glue it actually anchors it so that it doesn't move now i've got some lovely little anemones here these are really cute little flowers so with those a little bit of glue onto there and then just position that so that it sits up into there so that you're now starting to get the highs and lows and that variation of height which will actually help to give you the movement in any of the design work that you're doing. So I've put that one there and I'm just going to bring that one over into there and hopefully I've got four, no I've only got three. So as I said, equal distance between the three placements. And I really love it with the, the different green. So you've got the dark green of the ivy and then this lovely light green of the, the anemones, which looks really lovely. Or are they ranunculus? Who would know? But they're very clever in China. Right, I've got some other little roses here. And I'll just cut those if you wanted to. You could just push that right down into your wreath frame. If I haven't, ah, yeah, that's perfect. Sometimes if you can cheat the system, then by all means do it. So it just makes it a little bit easier. So we've got one on that side and I'll bring this one out and over to that side there. And I've got two more. I've got this little one here. That one there I'll just put in like so. Oh, goodness only knows what's in this glue gun, but it's not looking very savoury. That can go to there. In fact, I might just do a little cluster of those in there, two of those together. And then that one into there like that. Oh yeah, that's looking really, really lovely. Right, I've got three little rivers. I think that that's possibly all that it needs at this stage. A little bit of, a little bit of 
glue onto there and we'll just push that into there. Oh yes, that's lovely. I think that with a wedding you could, I like a good bit of fluff when I'm doing wedding flowers. That can go into there and I'll bring the next one. In fact, I think I only need three, I do. So I'll bring that one into there like so. If you wanted to, you could make those a little bit longer. And then to just add another dimension and to take it to another level, Sharon indicated that as an accessories, her little girl had little butterflies on her frock. So I just thought, well, why not just bring those little butterflies in there? Get that into, oh, uh, there. So I'll bring that up in another, up into another level as well. If you don't want to see those wires, just press those in. But I think if it's a nighttime wedding, you're not going to see those anyway. Bring that over to there. And then I think I'll just bring one more over to there. So the accessories that you put into this is entirely over to you. It could also look nice with pearls wrapped and draped all through it. And I do like those sort of like going out on another level, like just sort of taking off in all directions. And I'll bring another one just because I can. I just feel like I need one more just in there like that to go out to there and then what you could possibly do if you wanted to is to put a candle into the middle but fresh or artificial really really easy just remember that there's that line running through there what you're doing on this side repeat it on that side easy peasy i hope you've enjoyed seeing me make this and call again another day and don't forget to subscribe see you again